Good morning, everyone. It is Teresa. I'm here with another audio blog. And I have to just say, I am a little bit worked up, just a teeny tiny bit. I just dropped my little one off at school. And you're probably going to hear me. I'm in my car. Nothing fancy. You're going to hear the click, click of my turning signal and the bumps and all the things. But I said I had to record this thought because I have been in a space for the past month where I've been needing to, what I call, reclaim my morning. I've been needing to reclaim my morning. And what I mean by that, reclaiming the mornings that do not start the way that I intended and in a way that leaves me feeling grounded, that leaves me feeling regulated. I need to reclaim those mornings And do the things necessary so that I can get back to a space of feeling grounded, of feeling good, of feeling ready to to, to raise my children, to be around my honey. I need to reclaim. And I, 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 I know I am not the only one. So I'm just dropping my daughter off at school. And this morning, I did not wake up before her. I woke up actually around 7. I'm usually up between 4.30 and 5.30. So you can imagine... My body was definitely tired, but I was two hours delayed starting my day. My daughter got up. We got her together, got her situated. I was able to get the baby situated. My honey is off today, so he was able to take care of some things and help help me out. However, that two-hour delay to my morning start meant that I didn't get to do my workout this morning. I didn't get my quiet time in with the Lord and my journaling. I didn't even have my coffee. Y'all, I'm driving and it is 9.15 and I haven't even had a cup of coffee yet. In what world? Didn't even talk to the good Lord this morning. Barely said, good morning, Jesus. I did pray because I do pray over dream in the morning. So I did pray. But I mean, as far as like my, my legit sit down, even if it is just God, show me the flow for this day. God, regulate my mind. I commit my ways and my day to you. I tap into the the power that dwells on the inside of me to raise my children well for such a time as this. I mean, literally affirming myself with the affirmations that I share with you all. I didn't even do any of that this morning. And so I'm driving home and I can feel myself feeling like, oh, this day is just, oh, I'm so over it. But you know what I said to myself? I said, I'm not going to allow the way that my day started determine the rest of how it goes and determine how I show up in this day. So I'm going to reclaim my morning. What does that mean? I'm going to go home and guess what I can do? My honey is here. So I can have a cup of coffee and I can get my word and go pray and seek the Lord. Guess what? I have time to go to a workout class later. It's going to be okay. And even if I didn't, I have YouTube University. I could do a workout. Guess what, Teresa? It is not the end of the world simply because your morning did not start the way that you wanted to. You wanted it to. Just because things didn't go as planned doesn't mean it's the end of the world. And I'm telling you guys this. I am a recovering end of the world aholic. <laughs> it's weird, but I'm telling you. My therapist, I was in therapy for almost 20 months. I'm done now because because it, I, I'm, I don't need it anymore. But... I really unpacked a lot of things. And I told her, I said, girl, and this, this is how I talked to my therapist. I said, girl, you know how I used to respond. Like, the way I knew I was done was because I was responding differently to the things that used to get me overwhelmed and worked up. I looked at her, I said, girl, you know, this situation that I'm sharing with you, it used to get me in a tizzy. I used to get overwhelmed and felt like I couldn't survive. I felt like I was in an end of the world situation. And she's like, girl, my oh my, how you've grown. And so I'm telling you right now, because some of you are going to listen to this and you're going to be in a situation where you might be in the middle of your day, the middle of your night, whatever it might be. And I'm specifically speaking to stay at home moms because I feel like there is this sense of not being able to do anything. Let's just be real. When you have littles to take care of throughout the day. So you maximize those baby free moments, the baby free moments during the day, the baby free moments in the evening when they're asleep, right? The baby free moments when they're napping. Like you're literally a part of what I teach the moms that I've worked with when I used to do the whole mom thing. 
I used to say, maximize your pockets of time. Maximize those sleep hours. What are you going to do when the baby is sleeping? What are you going to do when you have that free space and that free time? How are you going to make sure that you are intentional about that time? And so that is what I'm doing on today. Instead of staying in this end of the world, oh, this day is trash. Oh my goodness, we're not going to be able to do anything, blah, blah, blah. I said, I'm going to reclaim this moment. I'm going to reclaim this day. And declared a victory already. It, God is redeeming the times for my life. I'm reclaiming the time that I need for this day. And so I want to encourage you. When things don't go as planned, you need to have a plan in place. What do you do when things don't go the way that you intended for them to go? What are you going to do? For me, I have my grace plan. I have a list of literal things that I do. When I need to show myself grace in the moment because I'm having a hard time adjusting to things not going the way that I wanted them to go. What are you going to do, mama? What is your plan? Do you have a plan in place or do you just go with the motions and literally that one bad day turned into a bad week? Because you couldn't get yourself together in that one day, now it's affecting the way that you show up in your home. Everybody's getting the worst of you. Because you don't have a plan in place to get back into alignment with who you want to be. And so I'm reclaiming my mind, my day. I'm reclaiming my time. I'm tapping into my grace plan. I haven't really talked about it a lot, but I'm going to definitely share more about it because I feel like more moms need it. Literally, all the grace plan is is a plan that you have in place to show yourself grace in the moment when you are having a really hard time. (laughs) And typically, that hard time is because of something that's not going the way that you wanted to go with your kids. Excuse me. (sighs) My mind. How are you going to show yourself grace today? For me, like I said, I'm going to come in this house. I got a couple of minutes to get some things situated. I'm going to go to this workout class. And then also, I have to reclaim my day because it's day day. Like, can you imagine? Like, if I didn't have this moment of shifting my mindset in the moment, of shifting the narrative of my day, I wouldn't be able to enjoy day day with my honey. He probably would have caught the worst of me complaining about the morning. I mean, who? I don't want to live that life. I don't want to be that woman. I don't want to be that mom. <laughs> I don't want to be her. I don't want to be that wife. And so if it doesn't align with who I want to be, it's got to go. And so I'm tapping in. And a huge part of my grace plan is the Lord. It is getting back in his face. It is committing my ways to him, casting my cares onto him, in spending time in worship, spending time in his word. Finding a way to give myself some self-care in the moment. What does that look like? Whether it's five minutes or two hours. So I'm going to be sharing more about this because I, I just feel in my heart that we need help shifting in the moment. <laughs> and what does the shift look like? How do you shift from having this crazy circus of a morning to... I'm reclaiming this moment. This moment will not overwhelm me. This moment will not define me. But I choose to capture everything that I need to and bring it under subjection so that it aligns with who I'm called to be in this moment. You can't control the situation, but what can you do? You can control yourself. You can control how you respond to a thing. You can control that. You can control how you think about a thing, how you understand a thing. That's what you can control. So it's not about controlling our children or controlling situation. It's about how do we reclaim our day so that we are grounded, that we are regulated, that we are mentally stable. We are in the moment we are able to see clearly we're calm and we're at peace. You know, I told, I was praying the other day and I said, God, I just want to live a life of peace. I want peace in my life. I want peace in my home. I want peace in my parenting. I want peace in my marriage. Even in the midst of the storm, you know you can have peace. Did you know that? 
Did you know you can have peace in the midst of the storm? That peace that surpasses all understanding? That's what I want. And so I have to position myself differently. I have to posture myself differently. And that's okay. I don't have to control every single thing about what happens. But I can control myself. And the way that I'm able to control it properly, control my body and control my mind and all the things that I know I'm responsible for is by seeking the Lord. And so I'm going to stop there. But I had to get that thought out. And I wanted to just know how many of us are seeking to reclaim our day. We have a hard time. When things don't go well, we have a really hard time shifting and getting out of that funk, so to say. The mommy funk, <laughs> right? There's a, that's a thing. Because sometimes, you guys, today is a, is a really um, optimist, opportunistic day. I'll say it like that because my honey is home. But there are days where I feel this way and he's not home. And it's just me. And it's just me and the kids. And the kids are not feeling well. And I'm trying to get myself together. Because some of us as stay-at-home moms, we don't always have the in-house support that we need in the moment. So what do you do? How do you reclaim your day when that happens? For some of us, it means just putting things down, putting the task down, putting the phone down, (laughs) and just embracing the moment for what it is and finding that position and posture of gratitude for some of us. That's what we have to do. For some of us, it's turning off all the TVs and going outside with your children for a walk. Because you need the fresh air and you need to connect with God through nature. For some of us, it's just inviting God into our home. Decreeing and declaring his light, his word and his truth over our home, over our children, over the moment. Those are the types of things that I find to be most beneficial and most transformational in the moment. When I don't have the in-house support like I do today. Man. I mean, you just have to make a decision. I'm not, I don't want to live my life like this. Because how easy would it have been for me to turn my camera on and talk about all the crazy things that happen in the day and how ghetto parenting is and all the things, which I'm sure is relatable, which I'm sure could go viral, all the things, right? But I don't want to be her. I want to, I want to share my journey from a place of victory even when I'm having hard times, even when it's, I'm literally finding myself in a, one of the most challenging seasons of my life, I still want to share from a place of victory because I know who I serve. So who do you want to be? What type of mom do you really want to be? What type of wife do you really want to be? What type of woman do you want to be? Become her. Do the thing so that you can become her. Align your life, your motherhood, your marriage, the way you show up in your home, the way you show up in your job, in your purpose, in your community. Align her with who God is calling you to be. Mm. Oh, wow. God, I thank you. I thank you for the women who are listening to this audio. I thank you for their lives. I thank you, God, (laughs) that greater are you within us than anything in this world. You are greater within us. That means that we can come from a place of victory, of overcoming, because that is what your word has called us. We are more than victorious. We are more than conquerors. That's what your word says about us. And that applies to our lives as moms. So we come against every form of attack that would try to come against who you are calling us to be, coming a, a attack that would try to come against our children, against our husbands. We come against them right now in the name of Jesus. And we decree and declare your word and your truth over everything that concerns us. All things are possible with you, Father. And so we thank you that we have that promise, that there is nothing too difficult for you. So we cast all of our cares of today onto you. We lay our burdens at your feet and we pick up your yoke because your yoke is light. 
Father, we thank you for the victory today. We thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding that will guard our heart and our mind on today in the name of Jesus. There is a mom right now who is on the brink of tears because things are so hard. Father, I thank you that you collect every tear in a bottle. So let the tears fall, Father. Let her tears fall in your presence, oh God, that your strength may overwhelm her in the space of her weakness because it says your strength is made perfect in our weakness, God. So we thank you for your strength in the moments of weakness, in our moments of struggle. We give it all to you, God, in the name of Jesus. You have called us to be mothers for such a time as this. We are the right moms with the right kids. We choose to grow through the seasons of our lives, even the challenging ones we choose to grow. We make a conscious decision to grow and learn because we know that on the other side of that, on the other side of the the, the, the trial, there is a blessing. You're perfecting things within us. We're growing. We're becoming the women that you want us to be. And so, Father, we thank you for it right now. Bless every mom under the sound of my voice right now. God, touch her in a mighty way. Let the encounter that she has with you on today be like never before. May she be so confident in who you are as her father that she shows up with that level of confidence in her marriage, in her motherhood, and in her life. In Jesus' name, we praise you. We worship you. We thank you. And we say it is done. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. I love y'all for real. (laughs) I love you guys so much. And I cannot wait until the next time that God bubbles over within me to share something with you. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye, ladies.